Hey everybody, it's Keith from Ant Publishing, and today I'm going to be walking through uh, a brand new Facebook Live software called LiveLeap. Uh, what LiveLeap is, it's really the first um, Facebook approved tool that takes advantage of Facebook Live by syndicating your live feed across uh, your, your Facebook profiles, your groups, your pages, uh, as well as your other key social you know, networks uh, like Twitter, LinkedIn, your email list, uh, or even your cellular device. Now, until now, there was really no way to share all your live feeds across um, these different uh, properties. Um, you know, to like business pages and groups as well as your profiles, um, you know, let alone external social networks. Um, you know, so you are really only reaching kind of a small percentage of your market uh, when doing live calls. Um, but, you know, besides that, there really there was no way to really track, you know, uh, any of the live call analytics, you know, from who attended your live call, uh, what parts of your live stream were most engaging. You know where you lost viewers, um, and more. You know, more importantly, really, is you know, uh, there's no way to monetize the live call. So Live Leap is going to help us do all those things. So let's go ahead. Uh, what we'll do is we'll start out just by doing a, a quick uh, demonstration and walkthrough of uh, all the different settings and the dashboard here, um, and then we'll go ahead and we'll jump right into a, a live broadcast, and I'll put it across a, a group I've created as well as my profile. Um, you know, as well as um, the. Um, the pages. Um, I have a, a couple of pages I can put it stick put it to as well. So we'll show you how all that works. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get into that. Okay, so we're looking at the dashboard now. When you first um, get access to LiveLeap, um, you're great, you're basically going to um, connect and give permissions to the app to go ahead and broadcast your. Um, your live calls, uh, you know, across these these different areas like pages, um, groups, and as well as your profile. Now, I've already connected to that. Um, it works just like really any other connection. It's pretty uh, easy. It walks you right through it. You accept a couple of uh, permission settings, and it'll basically take you to this page. So what you're seeing here is uh, a dashboard. There's a quick little overview video. Um, there's good. There is also training that will be coming uh, very soon. By the time you guys uh, get a hold of this, uh, that will be active. So you'll have training on each of these areas. Um, so what I'm going to do is just kind of walk through a couple of these. Now, you'll have your live broadcast tab here. Uh, now, I, you see I have not done any yet. Uh, once I do, then we'll start to see some of those analytics that I was talking about. So we'll come back to that after we actually go live. All right, so uh, looking at uh, Link Cloaker, what you can basically do is create a cloaked link. Uh, now, this would be mostly used for your, um, to post this, you know, onto a Facebook post, um, as well as, you know, in, in emails that you might be broadcasting out, um, especially if you're doing any kind of affiliate uh, affiliate linking, okay? Uh, it works just like any other Link Cloaker that's out there right now. Uh, it basically just disguises the affiliate link um, and, and, and puts in whatever you, you know, whatever you choose, um, you know, to, to have there. Um, so looking at that, uh, let's go ahead and actually hop into the email settings. Okay, so now it's gonna. There's a couple of uh, settings that you can do here. So now this this has a uh, SendGrid um, uh, API integration. Now, if you don't have SendGrid, you can go ahead and click here to do so. But what you can also do, you don't need to use SendGrid to take advantage of the email integration. Um, you can basically send right from this app, okay? So you can set your from email, um, your name, your address, and your subject as well. Okay, so now what you can do is, is you're able to manage lists here is you're actually able to upload your own email list um, which you can usually pull out from any of any autoresponder uh, if you're not using SendGrid uh, you can go ahead and upload that right here and then you have your list ready to go that when you as soon as you go live and you've set the um, you know the email setting to go ahead and send an email to tell people that you're live um, it will use basically the list that uh, that you've imported here Okay, so what we also have is uh, the ability to send SMS and text messages here. Um, so you have a few connection settings that you're going to use. Now, you're going to need some sort of a call platform to do this. Um, Twilio is probably one of the most popular ones. So um, it, it's going to ask you for a couple of bits of information, which I'll show you. Um, I basically have mine open. So it's looking for a Twilio SID and a Twilio auth token. And where you get that is basically right here. I'm logged into my Twilio account. It's right on your console dashboard. You'll see this SID here. And then you'll go ahead and get the auth token. And you can enter those in there. Um, so you'll definitely will need a service to use um, this particular feature. Uh, you can then go ahead and put your message in, and uh, you just type this little link um, uh, short code right here uh, where you want the URL for the live broadcast to appear in your message. Okay, so it's as, it's as simple as that. Now what we also have is the ability to connect, obviously, to Facebook, Twitter, 
and LinkedIn, okay? So taking a look at uh, Facebook, let's just go ahead and connect right to it, okay? So I'm gonna connect, it's gonna read the following, I'm gonna agree, confirmed, okay, great. All right, now I, what I can do is I can see my groups right here, okay, that I'm uh, basically in charge of. Uh, and also my any pages that I may have, okay? Um, so let's see, let's go ahead and update the page listings. Okay, great, and there they are. So these are the two pages that I manage uh, inside this particular Facebook account. So I will be able to use, um, you know, and push my live feed to these pages as well as any groups that I select as well, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at Twitter as well. So we just hit the connect button there. Uh, we're gonna need a pin, okay? So let's go ahead and do so. So I'm gonna click this link. It's basically gonna ask me for authorization. I'm gonna authorize the app. There's my pin. I'm gonna put it in and agree. Great, okay, so now I'm all set up with Twitter. Um, LinkedIn, I do not, I, I have a LinkedIn account, but I honestly have not used it in years. Um, I know there's a lot of folks out there that use LinkedIn, but uh, basically that works the exact same way. You're gonna hit connect, it's gonna ask you for the information, you enter it in and you're gonna be connected to um, to LinkedIn. So what this is gonna do is basically once we go live, we're gonna be able to then push this push a message to all these networks, uh, letting them know, hey, I'm live on Facebook now, You know, come join me. It'll obviously have the link and the URL um, to get them straight to that feed. Okay, so let's go ahead and give it a shot. I'm gonna go ahead and set up on my mobile here and go live. Hello, Facebook Live. This is Keith from Man Publishing. Uh, today, I am testing out a new piece of software that basically allows me to syndicate uh, my Facebook Live feed, not only to my profile, but to any business pages I manage as and uh, any groups that I manage. Uh, what it'll also do is send out a message to tw uh, my Twitter followers, LinkedIn, an email list, uh, even text messaging uh, with the link, letting them know that I'm live and that they can go ahead and jump on. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look here and see if it's working. All right, I'll switch you around. Okay, so now I am on my profile. There I am. And let's go ahead and check in my group that I set up. <clears throat> and there I am in my group live, fantastic. And a page that I set up, which is my AMP publishing page. And there it is as well. So it is working perfectly, fantastic. All right, so um, you know, if uh, anyone else is interested in uh, learning more about this, just drop a comment, hit my uh, hit me up with a message, and I'll get you some more information. Uh, for now, I'm just going to go ahead and drop off this call. Uh, I would call it test successful. Okay, all right. So looks like everything worked. Uh, I just want to go ahead and show you here on Twitter. Um, it went ahead and pushed my comment to it. So there was the link to get me um, to get uh, users to the page to watch. Um, I actually had a few people kind of jump on there while I was on it, uh, even though it was just a just a test broadcast. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at uh, Live Leap here and go to Live Broadcasts. Um, so here you'll see it. Uh, there was a couple of views there, and you can launch the comment manager, which will basically uh, push in all your comments. Uh, it gives you a little nice little explanation here as to as to what it does. Uh, so it just saves you time by putting it all into one place. You don't have to jump, uh, you know, jump back and forth. Um, so uh, now, once you have this set up, uh, all your Facebook connections, Twitter, LinkedIn, and all that, um, you can just leave it. I mean, it just runs in the background every time you start a live uh, broadcast. Uh, it's going to go ahead and do exactly what you just saw it do. Um, now, one thing I didn't mention is there is a Facebook group, um, a private group that you will have access to uh, once you become a member. Um, so I suggest you go ahead and join that as well because uh, there'll be support in there uh, as well as checking out everybody else's live feed. Uh, it's always fun. Um, so that uh, concludes the uh, demo. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, very cool. Um, go ahead and uh, get your copy today.